Okay, so this video is moving on from creating media queries to actually now changing the style of the website to be mobile friendly. So you can download mobile uh, MogHub website Quick Start 8, uh, or you can continue from your previous activity Quick Start 7. So I'm just going to download and unzip and pop that on my desktop to replace whatever was there and open up Dreamweaver. Okay, so if you remember from the Quick Start 7 video, we created an, a media query and now we're gonna start actually styling. So I'm gonna choose down here um, just a standard phone size an iPhone 7 it doesn't really matter because we're going to try and make the styling sort of as universal for a standard mobile uh, screen um, so that it's not device specific all right and so I'm going to go to my style sheet here I'm going to go to my media query and I'm just going to remove that select I made for the body tag because I don't want um, that styling to happen okay and it should update let's just go to our style sheet and check down here yep okay I'm not sure why the red is is not going away let's try going back to full size and just okay there we go it's just didn't sort of update for a moment still seems to be sticking to that that's weird uh, okay I'm just gonna file save all and let's just see nope okay I think I'm gonna just save all and restart Dreamweaver that's annoying just wanna make sure that everything's connecting up properly. Okay. Right, so now we know that we're not getting that red coming in. All right, so let's see how we go. So I'll choose iPhone 7 again and my media query. So styles, media query. And the first thing I'm going to do is restyle the wrapper because that determines the width of the entire content. So new selector wrapper and we're just going to change the width to a value that's going to kind of work in most on most mobile screens you might disagree but uh, it kind of works for me 360 pixels right um, and let's take that off Okay, I'm not going to use the the iPhone thing here because it seems to be scaling it too much. So I'm going to rather just go down to to there. I think it's because I was zoomed in. Let's just go to normal zoom size. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that, so I can see what's what I'm doing with uh, a slightly bigger width than a mobile phone, but I can see the edges. All right, uh, next we're gonna do a selector for the header. Just keep making sure that you're on that media query. It can sometimes jump off it when you're not looking. Uh, so this is gonna be for header. And we're going to change the height to 375 pixels. Now these values are just ones that I have tested beforehand and I've found that they work for me. Then we're gonna do a selector for header image. So if I just use my up arrow or down arrow, it makes my compound selector more or less specific. So header image. And this one's going to have a left value. So remember it's absolute positioning. So left value of uh, 125. 
pixels. It just pushes it into the middle. Uh, we're then going to make a selector for top links, hash, top links. And here we are going to change the uh, right value to 100 pixels. We're going to change the top value to 150 pixels and the width up here to 175. Okay, then we're going to go top links li list item. So top links li. And we're going to set the display back to block. Okay, we're going to set the padding at the bottom and top to 10 and 10. Just spreads it out nicely. So we're getting a nice sort of finger friendly, touch friendly interface. All right, next we're going to look at the bottom links uh, unordered list. So over here, so we're going to go um, hash bottom links ul. And let's just go down here. And if I just click down here, it should stay down there. And for the bottom links ul, we're going to put padding left zero. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do a footer paragraph. So footer p, or oh, not hash footer because it's not an ID, it's an HTML tag, just footer p. And this is going to be padding left 10 pixels. Okay. These are all, I'm entering these values, and you might be thinking, well, how does he know those values? I, I don't. I've experimented in advance and found values that work for me. So that I can't make this video too long, so um, this is kind of going to speed up the process. Um, we're going to set membership column 2. Uh, so we have, um, oh, well, we'll go and check the page in a moment, so um, hash membership call 2. And that will be um, padding left zero pixels. Okay. And then finally, we're going to add for iframe. That's the where the um, where the form is, and we're going to set a width here to um, three twenty pixels all right I think that's it so we now have a home page that looks pretty decent for mobile uh, let's go and have a look at our other pages um, bookings okay that looks nice gallery okay we could probably push these pictures over a little bit um, that would be a bit of padding on the left of this one. I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, membership. Okay, it's looking good. It's also, I could just push that over a little bit and volunteer. Okay, so if I go back to gallery and I have a look here at um, if I just use my up arrow, uh, it's article H1 and it's main gallery. So let's just go back to our CSS designer, select our style sheet, select our media query and make a selector for hash gallery. And we'll add a little bit of padding to the side here. Okay. All 
should I do margin? Let's try margin left. That does pretty much the same thing. Okay, so it's looking a bit better. And then for membership, let's click here and go up to our it's hash membership. So maybe I just go back to my media query and find that um, gallery and just add to it comma hash membership okay that also moves that over a little bit as well okay um, okay so you can fine-tune this as you go but this is basically uh, how you would go about styling for mobile so if I save all go back to index and then I preview in Chrome and I make it smaller than 960 you'll see that I've got a nice result here okay and let's try with the Chrome um, developer tools let's just go to view developer and let's go to developer tools I'll just go full screen here and I'll choose this option here which is to go mobile and let's choose an iPhone we don't want the pro ones oh well, let's choose a Samsung S8 let's see and okay looks pretty good um, let's just go out of here um, there and let's see what happened okay so it's definitely working just didn't like that particular thing <laughs> okay it's not behaving itself let's just turn it off okay and go back here so it seems like I have to turn it on for each one and off okay let's go to volunteer gallery okay so that's a pretty decent result very simple website but that's the process of making your site uh, responsive using Dreamweaver and a media query I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next time